Now, the research was quite comprehensive. It included questions on gun ownership, public displays of violence, media coverage of violence, and the effects of violence on children. Carla Palma has more on the findings of the research. The research findings conducted by way of internet surveyed 1,281 Bahamians on guns in the Bahamas and firearms in Bahamian households. They answered questions on gun ownership, the person who controlled the firearm, characteristics and behaviors of those within the household, and types of firearms kept and their use. Research estimates the rate of firearm ownership at 8.8% of guns per 100 persons, with guns found between 19% and 31% of households. The research indicated that richer households owned more guns than poorer households, and that both household income and the presence of a gun were associated with domestic violence. As for the types of guns owned and used, of 238 residents surveyed, 76.5% had licensed shotguns. However, 25.1% were used primarily for hunting. As for licensing, use and storage of weapons, research has found that the majority of guns, 82.8%, were kept in breach of their permits. The research indicates that males controlled guns 96% of the time and that about 3% of gun owners had used their weapons to threaten household members. Also, that gambling and alcohol abuse were two most common deviant behaviors of gun owners. The survey further reports that persons who controlled handguns were also more likely to participate in deviant behaviors than other types of gun owners. The report also shows that abused children and underachievers were at a greater risk for carrying weapons. Overall, the report states that given the increasing level of crime in the country and calls by residents requesting weapons for personal protection, there is certainly a need for public debate on what is said to be a conflict between the law and society. A more detailed information of the survey can be obtained from the College of the Bahamas. Carla Palmer, ZNS News. Well, you have a few hours until that amnesty period to turn in illegal weapons without being penalized runs out. It's been 30 days since the government...